the way all of this works is as follows. Uh, once you design your uh, agent in, uh, once you define your agent, that is all the intents along with their entities in Dialogflow, uh, <clears throat> you will then come and, and upload all of your processes to Cloud Orchestrator. You will come into our bot connector user experience to, in, to connect uh, your Dialogflow agent and your Cloud Orchestrator service. Once you do that, you will then define a mapping between all of the intents in Google Dialogflow with all of the processes in Cloud Orchestrate. So once you've gone ahead and set up a connection in that fashion, we come to the runtime piece, which is how the messages are exchanged. So in this case, an end user would send a message via a channel in the private preview, we only have Slack. That message is received by our own conversational handler runtime. This runtime then sends uh, a detect intent request to the Dialogflow runtime, uh, which helps identify or categorize the message based on its intent, and also identifies any pieces of information that that message might contain. Uh, all of this information comes back to the conversational handler as a Dialogflow response. Now there's a few scenarios that come out from here. One, uh, the intent is resolved. That is, there's all the information that we need for the intent in which case we then check our storage to see if there is in fact an intent to process map. And if there is, we then go ahead and trigger the appropriate process in Cloud RPA and wait for its execution before passing any responses back to the end user. If there is no process mapping, uh, whatever the response is from the Dialogflow agent, uh, we pass it on back to the end user. If, it, if an intent has been detected, but it does not have all the information that it needs, then we pass on clarifying questions to the end user. Uh, as the end user responds with additional information, uh, once the, uh, resolving the intent, we then repeat the process of checking our storage, seeing if the intent is resolved, uh, see, seeing if there's an intent to process mapping, and if there is, triggering a, the appropriate RPA process.